Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge! Where we are going to be mixing and matching all sorts of different animal genes in order to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And, uh, yeah, I had an idea today, friends, that has once again drawn us back to the prehistoric side of our gene library. Yes, friends, we are returning to the Sabertooth Tiger! Because, oh my gosh, you guys have had so many ideas for different Sabertooth Tiger cross mixes that we could do. It's been amazing, and I have been extremely tickled to see how many of you are enjoying a return to our laboratory adventures. All of you are budding scientists. I just sense it in my soul. Because the most important thing that you could have when it comes to science, and really life in general, is a sense of curiosity! And, uh, yeah, so... Today, my friends, we are going to be mixing two genetic pools that I could not stop laughing about when I actually came up with this idea. I, I could not stop laughing at the concept, friends, of going ahead and crossbreeding the saber-toothed tiger, known for its fantastic fangs and none other than some of the genes gathered from uh, one of those pixelated adventures, Toothless, the Night Fury. <laughs> because yes, the Kalino's amazing mods for The Sims 4 have indeed included the actual Night Fury and the Light Fury, just so you guys know, from the, you know, How to Tame Your Dragons series. And we actually did play like one episode of a How to Train Your Dragons game many years ago. So I'm calling that completely, totally like in the lore of the pixel biology community that we would have picked up a little bit of dragon DNA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good enough for me, good enough for me. <laughs> but since Toothless is a toothless uh, dragon, you know, being of the Night Fury variety, mostly eating fish, ironically, uh, I thought it would be just so hilarious to see what would happen if we did mix something with the very strong fangs and a amazing dragon not exactly known for their fangs and also this amazing dragon body. Friends, some of the most terrifying, some of the most fascinating, some of the most unbelievable crossbreeds we've ever created have come from Night Fury genetics. Because look at that face. Look at that face. And then imagine. Imagine this face on a pug. Imagine this face on a Dalmatian. Imagine this face on a deer. Imagine this face on a wolf. <laughs> And you can see how when we start messing with this particular lineage of dragon genes, we end up with some really weird and fascinating results. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this because come on, that's adorable. A t like lots of tooth and then we have no tooth. This is going to be quite fun and we will use the dice of destiny to see what kind of uh, genes the... What? Wait, wait, okay. Let's see. Night Fury. Saber Furies? I mean, that sounds like kind of intense and like like something from sort of like a sci-fi space arc. What about, let's see, Night Tooths? <gasps> night Tooth! Oh, I really like Night Tooth rather than like Saber Fury. Like, let me know. Are you team Night Tooth or are you team Saber Fury? Uh, maybe we'll have to go ahead and see. Like, I guess if you grow up with the black coloring or the scales of the uh, Night Furies, we'll say that you are a Night Tooth. And if you grow up with the fangs and or the coloring of a saber tooth tiger, we'll say that it is a sable fury. Because uh, that totally makes sense, right? <laughs> All right, well, you guys know the drill by now. I would like to thank Jim from our comments in our previous videos for being selected by the random comment generator. Because Jim, you are now going to be known as uh, the saber tooth tiger who has been in this mix. And we also have Golden! And Golden, I love your idea of trying to go ahead and crossbreed some more horses and donkeys in the future. Uh, we could mix those with so many different creatures. It would be so exciting. And if you guys want to become one of these curious little creatures that we can create, I'm beginning to think maybe you need to sign a waiver or something, but it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Then all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the random comment generator just might pick you to become, uh, well, a, a small creature of science. So let's begin. All right. Keep in mind, 
We won't have any saber fangs and we won't have any dragon jeans pop out until those little ones grow up. So let's go ahead and get them popped out of the petri dishes so that we can age them up, roll the dice of destiny, and possibly scream in horror. All right. And first up we have Aussie, very cute looking, very normal little angel demon. <laughs> All right, Angel Demon, welcome. I really like how maybe you're giving us a little bit of a, a false trail of thinking, oh, look, so cute, so cute. I just want to pinch the little cheekies. Uh, you are going to be a couch potato who is stubborn and independent. So a lot of like, don't touch me and leave me alone sort of traits. That's fine, that's fine. Right now we can snuggle you all we want uh, before you possibly grow up and have giant things that we definitely don't want near our jugular. But for now, very cute. All right, let's go ahead and pop up the next of the Petri Dish Babies. Once again, using the random comment generator to pull up one of your guys' comments from our previous videos. <gasps> oh, this one actually ended up inheriting the black coat. And this is actually going to be Bow, or Bo, I suppose, from Graceful. So Bo, welcome. You're actually a smart troublemaker who is a hunter. That makes me think that maybe you take after more of the night fury side of things but we'll have to see if you're gonna oh i just realized what if we actually had them grow up just to be like a black saber tooth tiger <gasps> did saber tooth tigers have melanism the way that we have melanin 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 oh no come on siri i can do this melanistic there we go <laughs> animals today where they end up having like all black coats like the quote-unquote black panther who you know is actually a jaguar with a melanistic coat i don't know did saber tooth tigers have like the variation in those coat colors how far back in the genetic family tree does that go this this is why we're here friends because we start asking questions that we would have no reason to even contemplate uh you know when we're just in here doing science all right, and let's get the next little one on up. Oh, oh my gosh, a curly tail would be really cute. And we are going to see... Oh, hello, little one. This is actually going to be Zuzu. So Zuzu, Rick Zuzu is your fur baby. And you suggest mixing a pit bull and a saber tooth tiger. Okay, Zuzu, you are going to be a stubborn, hairy, and adventurous little... Well, I guess we don't know if you're a Night Tooth or a Saber Fury yet, but I really love the idea of a pit bull and a Saber Tooth Tiger because these teeth, this Saber Tooth like gene lineage, it's been so much fun to go ahead and mix together. I highly, highly am happy to spend the rest of our entire summer mixing and matching genes just around the Saber Tooth Tiger, uh, but of course we'll do other things too. There's just so many cool like crossbreeds we could like start creating. All right, and now we've got... Oh, wow, look at this one! This is actually going to be Strawberry! Oh my gosh, Strawberry, welcome! Let's see, Straw... Strawberry, there we go. Strawberry, welcome! You are a playful, jumpy glutton with a curly tail! I wonder what would happen. Can you be, like... A dragon with the dragon tail and have a curly tail at the same time because that would actually be really adorable and I would be totally okay with that oh okay we'll have to see what you look like when you grow up all right all right next petri dish next random comment pulled from a uh, previous uh, comments uh oh all right little one there we go we need to go ahead and we need to cross you with Oh, we got the eyes and the tail again. Oh, this is really cool. And this is actually going to be Mimi. Mimi, welcome. You are also a troublemaker who is a hunter and friendly. So again, it sounds like we're taken after more of the night theory side of uh, the personality traits. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and now we're at the very last of our itty bitties to pop out. Oh my gosh. I mean, think about think about all of this. Think about all of these dragon genes they might grow up with. We won't really know until we roll the dice of destiny, but we'll get there. All right. And then we'll pull up the last of the current comments for our random comment generator. And this one is going to be... Oh, really cute! Look at those eyes! I actually think the big, like, happy gaze happens to be from the Night Fury side of things. With those big, 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 big eyes. That's so cute. Uh, and... We now have from Lissy Faye, 
A itty bitty little one called Freya. What a fun name. And Missy, or Lissy, pardon me, you suggest either a hairless cat and a sloth, which would be ambitious. I don't know if we have sloths in our laboratory, uh, since everything is, you know, modified cats and dogs from The Sims 4. But I will dig around. However, I think we can do a deer and a red panda. I might have to go ahead and uh, see what kind of red pandas we have in the dog's, like, genetic library, but it'll work out. Also, wait, a Pomeranian and a Tasmanian devil? Oh, come on, guys. Like, you guys come up with the coolest ideas. All right. And you know what? A Tasmanian devil would actually be a really good throwback to another one of the, uh, the prehistoric creatures that unfortunately is no longer with us. But for now, we're done! Jim! Golden! Thank you for contributing your genes. And now it is time to go ahead. We will grow these little ones up and then I will roll the dice of destiny. If we roll like odds, then we are going to be inheriting the saber teeth. If we roll... Well, actually, I don't think you can have both. So if we roll evens, then we will inherit the dragon head. And then I guess I'll have to roll again. How much? Oh, okay. Whoops. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah. Like, as you can see... So if I don't have that, okay, that's just the head. Sorry, just reviewing our genetic library real quick. All right, so we need to roll for what, if they're gonna have fangs or dragon head, then we need to roll for if they're gonna have dragon wings, and then we need to roll for if they're gonna have the dragon tail. So there's quite a bit to go ahead and see. Angel Demon, you're up first. All right, all right, all right. Looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty good so far. Dice of Destiny is now rolled. And you, my friend, are actually going to have the Sabertooth Fangs. So you are not going to have the Dragon Head, but there is still a chance. We're going to roll again. Okay. Oh, 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 it happened. Oh, it actually happened. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to look. It could be one of the most epic things we have ever seen, or it could be completely terrifying. But we now have... Oh no! <laughs> we now have the dragon wings, and we now have the, um, like, Night Fury leg and body type on Angel Demon here, who seems to be kind of filling out their name. I'm gonna see, is there, like... Is there like a fur type that can kind of blend that together the best? Sort of, sort of, but not really. So there's gonna be a little bit of a hiccup here. I mean, this is the closest we can get, I think. So we'll have to use this fur type in order to try to hide the fact that, you know, maybe mixing Sabretooth and Dragon Jeans gives you a few little glitches. Uh, but, uh, well, do we have the Dragon Tail? We do not have the Dragon Tail. This is actually really cool! Yes, we need to fill in a few spots, but if you cover that up with like a little duct tape, I'm sure that the whole animal is going to hold together. And this is actually really, really cool looking. <laughs> I never thought about like saber tooth dragons, but I'm actually thinking maybe we should do just like a whole big cat and like dragon line because I think you guys would absolutely freak about that um since dragons and dragons dinosaurs horses warrior cats wolves basically are the things that have fed me and housed me from YouTube in the last 10 years so <laughs> yeah maybe we'll do some of that but there we go angel demon wow okay I kind of want to see what the dragon head looks like on one of the saber tooth ones but now we're gonna go ahead and roll for bow Bo, hey, Bo is actually going to inherit the dragon head. So, come here, Bo. Come here, I want it. Oh no, that's cute. Oh no, that's so cute. Look at the ears. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, we can pick. Okay, we can pick from either one of them, but I really like the white ears. That's adorable. Oh no, this is really cute. And did you inherit the body? No, you did not. So. Oh no, this is like some sort of, uh, this is, actually, have we done Toothless and the Easter Bunny yet? Because I feel like that might be interesting, but Toothless jeans can only come in black and white due to those mods. Uh, oh, that would be so fun. Um, wow. Okay then. Do you have the dragon tail? No, you don't. So this is all of Bo, friends. I'm in behind this. These kinds of jeans are really, I like this. I didn't expect to either. 
It, but it kind of looks like a really concerning Easter bunny. And, I mean, you know, big smile, big smile. <laughs> Alright, Zuzu. Now, oh, Zuzu, you definitely are trying to go ahead and get yourself the tail. But, let's see. Oh boy, here we go, guys. My dreams are coming true so far. Zuzu has actually inherited the body, or the head, pardon me. So Zuzu has inherited the head from Toothless. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I've like emotionally prepared myself to see whatever this is going to look like, but... Wow! There it is! There it is! And I have even better news. The dice within the dice has also said... Let's see. Oh wait, there's two faces! Oh my gosh, from the light theory and the... Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. Because one has... Oh my gosh! Well, Zuzu, you're actually a male, so that means you would inherit this dragon head! <gasps> this is even cooler than I thought! Oh, wow! Okay, and now we need to go ahead and find the body, because you did inherit the dragon body as well. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Behold this proud creature who actually did inherit the tail as well. So let me get the proper tail over here. And there we go. There we- oh, come on. All right, that's it. I think a toothless and, like, all of the big cats of the world mix is now required, because this is amazing! <laughs> What have we created? Who knows? Science has once again gone a little too far, but I'm completely content and happy now. All right, Strawberry, Strawberry, like Mimi, Freya, we're gonna grow you guys up real fast because uh, I'm I'm really content and I had everything I was hoping for. And Strawberry, you are also going to inherit the head and you are female, so... Okay, come on. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. So we have the head, we don't have the dragon body, and we have the tail! <gasps> Maybe I should leave the tail, like this white one over here. Let's see, is there one that could- Oh, come on, that's even better. <gasps> that's really cool! Oh, strawberry, congratulations! You can't fly, but you look like you're about ready to like dive into the water and terrify the living heck out of some mermaids. All right, Mimi, you're up next, my dear. And you actually inherited the fangs. So no dragon head for you, my friend. However, oh, because I only have to roll one dice at a time for like the dice within the die. I know, I know the next step. And the next step is actually that we finally have one of the saber tooth coated, saber tooth fanged, dragon bodied. <laughs> Wait, no, no, we already ended up with that over here. I'm sorry, Angel Demon. I just got so distracted by everything. Um, here we are. Another one. Another one. And Mimi, I have some news. You actually don't have the dragon tail. So, um, I'm gonna roll randomly for a new tail. And you get this big fluffy tail instead. Again, don't know what we've done, but I like it. And Freya, you are up next. <laughs> The last one, and my friend Freya, you actually are going to inherit the tooth again. The very big toothus. No dragon body. Ooh, but you do get a dragon tail! Alright, so let's see. We'll go ahead and toss this one on. And that's, that's that. That's that. Wow. Wow, I have a lot of opinions. Um, but I have to say, Zuzu, you, you, you are the, the, the thing that I was hoping for. The true treasure of our laboratory this time. And a true reminder that we should always go ahead and do just a little bit of experimenting. Because you never know what you're going to find out there, friends. You never know. <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on these adventures. If you guys would like to make more chaotic science with me, you know what to do. Leave those comments down below for our random comment generator to possibly pick you. Do go ahead and spearhead the next of our experiments or to turn you into one of our random creatures. But until next time, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!